So today we're going to talk about never having to buy a bridge again. Let's go. So what is up everybody, Bobby here, Nintendo Guru, and I wanted to do this video for a little bit of time now, but I just haven't had time, and today seems like the best time to do this. So a lot of people have been buying bridges, and myself included, because you like the aesthetics of them, you like the way they are, and I wanted to kind of go over a couple of things with bridges that, the, the positives and the negatives of the bridges. First things first, we all know that you can do inclines like you see here, um, or you can do bridges, which I have a bridge right here. Now, the disadvantage of a corner bridge like this or a diagonal bridge is I cannot put paths up to the base of this. And it's a little frustrating. So I've basically come to the conclusion that I don't wanna do bridges that are diagonal, that I only wanna do bridges that are horizontal or vertical. So I have this area set up where I'm gonna destroy the bridge up top and then in install a bridge here. But in the meantime, we can build our own bridges. And I thought about it, why am I spending all this money with Nook and the time to wait when I could actually just come in here and build a bridge myself? So there's a couple of steps that you need to do first and foremost. Obviously you need to be able to terraform. So that's a big step. The other thing is, is you need to have fences. And I'm gonna show you right now, like get the fences are pretty simple. You just come into the town hall, you come over to the Nook Stop terminal and inside you'll come up to your Nook Miles and you'll be able to spend your Nook Miles. So you're gonna redeem Nook Miles and then you come a couple down and they ha have different types of DIY recipes for fences. So you, you wanna grab a couple fences I have a bunch of them because everything that I like and look at, I've been buying up and, and getting and holding on to. But right now we're looking at this one here, the bamboo and the uh, the bamboo lattice fence and the straw fence. I'm not gonna use those because I think they would make ugly bridges. But this is the first step. You're gonna buy these, get a bunch of them together. Um, and then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your crafting table and begin crafting. So now I can come up to my crafting table and as you're about to see, I have a multitude of different fences here. So you see the straw fence here, then you have your bamboo lattice here. I have a bunch of them within. I got the stone fence, I got the zen fence, I have an iron fence, I have a rope fence. I have a multitude of them. So I've already pre-made a bunch of them and I'm gonna show you something that we can do. So I'm gonna pop over to this area here in particular. We're gonna break out the construction kit for step one. Once we have the construction kit open, the next step is to go to your waterscaping permit and start to fill in the water across. Okay, now we have all of the area done. The next step for me is to go in and pick a particular path that we wanna lay down. And we have a variety of different kinds. So I'm gonna just do the brick path for now because that seems to be uh, what I've been doing the, across the board the whole time. And the advantage is you can still come out a little bit, uh, do all this entire area. So now you jump in and you grab your fence that you have, uh, stone fence, zen fence. We're looking for the brick fence. And there you have your very own brick bridge that's done and, and ready to go. Now, obviously you can change this up and you can make this look however you wanna make it look. You could use whatever style fence you want. And that's the beauty of, of what we're trying to accomplish here. We're not stuck with basically using whatever is a typical bridge by Tom Nook. We can change this up to be anything we want across the board. Um, and it looks aesthetically pleasing, it has, pretty much everything we want it to be, I feel, to build to build a bridge. Now, you may not like the flooring that I pick, you may not like anything here. Does it look as great as a typical bridge by Tom Nook? Those ones are made by Nintendo, they're put in, they're designed for that purpose. But if you're looking to save money, and you're looking for something that you can kind of build and customize to fit the way your town looks throughout, if this is the better way like this is to me is a is a nicer way as opposed to waiting a day for this and paying a hundred and ninety eight thousand bells that i just paid for a brick bridge so 
it's something to look forward to moving forward. This is a, the ability to change it up. You could do all kinds of designs in here. You could do different types of railings. You could do no railings. You could do rope and metal railings. So you can mix and match. You could do a multitude of things. But I think the reason that I like what we're seeing here is the ability to customize it and make it your own and make it feel more like your town from top to bottom. I've seen a lot of people just basically putting a grass bridge kind of across. This gives you the ability to decorate a little bit and do a little bit better. So the whole idea of today's video was just to give you other options, other ideas, just different things to customize and create a unique feel to your town as opposed to what everybody else across the world has. This is your own. This is something that you, that will scream your style, your flavor. You may not like it. And if you don't like it, you can stick to what you're doing. But I kind of like this. And I think moving forward, I might start to transition and move these bridges to be the way I want them to be and the, way, the look that I want them to be. But it's also cheap. Save a lot of money doing it this way as opposed to going through Tom Nook and having to wait a day. This, you can just keep going right through. But you could also set up temporary bridges wherever you want to have them set up and then later on transition them out if that's what you want to do. The other thing you need to keep in mind too is the fact of we're limited to the amount of bridges that we can have in the game as well as incline. So this is unlimited. You can keep going across the board and do whatever you want to do. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please slap the like button down below. Share it with all your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the bell so you know what's going on around here. You can follow me Instagram, Twitter, and over on Twitch at Nintendo Gurus. That is all. Peace out, Preston.